What exactly is self-discipline and how do I achieve it? Self-discipline is being able to practice restraint and to persevere in one's endeavors in order to achieve a goal. Here are 16 effective strategy to achieving self-discipline. 1. Set specific and achievable goals. Without specific goals, it is difficult to know what you need to do to be successful. SMART goals are a popular framework for goal setting, which stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. A goal is specific if it is clear and unambiguous, and it is achievable if it is realistic and achievable given your current circumstances. Setting a specific achievable goal in self-discipline means knowing what you want to achieve and then developing a plan to make it happen. This includes being realistic about your capabilities and making a commitment to stick to your plan. 2. Develop a plan of action. Once you know your goals, you need to develop a plan of action to achieve them. This plan should be detailed and include specific steps, deadlines, and assignments. Here are some key elements of a self-disciplined plan of action. A. Decide what specific behaviors or activities you will commit to changing or improving. B. Identify the triggers or situations that lead to undisciplined behavior. C. Develop strategies for avoiding or managing those triggers. D. Plan for setbacks and slip-ups. E. Create a support system of friends, family, or professionals to help you stay on track. F. Monitor your progress and celebrate your successes. 3. Hold yourself accountable. One of the most important aspects of self-discipline is holding yourself accountable. This means tracking your progress, sticking to your deadlines, and following through on your commitments. When you hold yourself accountable, you are taking responsibility for your own actions and decisions. You are accountable for your own success or failure. This means that you cannot blame others for your mistakes or for your lack of progress. You must be willing to work hard and to stick to your goals, even when it is difficult. Know that even though it may be difficult some time, it must be done. 4. Develop a support network. It is difficult to be successful if you try to go it alone. Developing a supportive network of family, friends, and professionals can help you stay on track and achieve your goals. A support network can be designed in a number of ways, but the basic idea is to have people in your life who will help you achieve self-discipline. This could involve things like having someone to help you stay on track with your goals, keeping you accountable, and providing encouragement. The important thing is to surround yourself with people who will support your efforts to become more disciplined. 5. Stay focused. It is easy to get sidetracked and lost in the day-to-day -day grind. Staying focused on your goals will help you stay motivated and on track. When you set a goal, it is important to stay focused in order to achieve it. This means avoiding distractions and staying on track. It also means being disciplined in your habits and actions. Self-discipline requires willpower and is often hard work, but it is necessary to achieving your goals. 6. Persevere. There will be bumps in the road and setbacks along the way. The key is to persevere and never give up on your goals. When you persevere, you continue to do something, even when it is difficult. You don't give up. This takes self-discipline. Self-discipline is when you do what you should do, even when you don't want to do it. It is about delaying gratification and making choices that are beneficial in the long term, even if they are difficult in the short term. 7. Be flexible. There is no one-size-fits-all approach to self-discipline. Be willing to experiment and find what works best for you. Being flexible to achieve self-discipline means that you are willing to change your plans or routines in order to better achieve your goals. This might mean altering your usual route to work in order to avoid traffic or going to bed earlier so that you can wake up earlier and get a head start on your day. Discipline is all about making choices that help you reach your goals. 8. Take care of yourself. It is difficult to be successful if you are not taking care of yourself. Be sure to eat healthy, exercise, and get plenty of rest. Taking care of yourself to achieve self-discipline means setting aside personal time for reflection and relaxation in order to be better able to focus and achieve goals. This could involve creating and following a personal routine, making healthy lifestyle choices, and seeking out personal growth opportunities. It may also mean learning to say no to distractions and learning to focus on what is most important. 9. Set Limits one of the most important aspects of self-discipline is setting limits. You need to know your limits and stick to them. Setting limits is a necessary part of achieving self-discipline. Without limits, it is difficult to stay focused and motivated. When setting limits, it is important to be realistic and specific. 
For example, setting a limit of no more than 3 hours of television per day is more likely to be effective than setting a limit of no television. 10. Take breaks. It is important to take breaks and relax, especially when you feel overwhelmed. Breaks will help you recharge and come back stronger. When you take breaks, you allow yourself to recharge and come back with fresh energy to work on your goals. This renews your motivation and helps you push through when you feel like giving up. It also gives you time to reflect on your progress and find new ways to improve your self-discipline. 11. Avoid procrastination. Procrastination is the enemy of self-discipline. If you find yourself putting things off, make a plan to get them done. When we procrastinate, we are putting off doing something that we know we should be doing. This can be something as small as leaving the dishes in the sink overnight, or as big as putting off studying for an exam. Either way, procrastination is a form of self-sabotage that can prevent us from reaching our goals. 12. Be prepared. Being prepared for what you need to do will help you stay on track and avoid surprises. To be prepared to achieve self-discipline, one must first understand what it means to be disciplined. Discipline is the practice of training oneself to do something in a precise and correct way. It is the ability to do something in a consistent and orderly manner. Self-discipline requires that one have control over their thoughts, emotions, and actions. They must be able to override any urges or impulses that would lead them astray from their goal. 13. Simplify your life. A cluttered life can be a source of stress and anxiety. Simplifying your life can help you focus on what is important and eliminate distractions. Some tips on how to do this include setting clear goals and priorities, streamlining your activities and commitments, and creating routines and habits that support your self-discipline. 14. Get organized. Another way to simplify your life is to get organized. This means having a place for everything, and keeping everything in its place. This can be difficult, but it is important to be persistent. You also need to be willing to make sacrifices. This means giving up things that you enjoy doing in order to focus on your goals. 15. Manage your time. Time management is a key aspect of self-discipline. Learning to manage your time wisely will help you be more successful. When you manage your time to achieve self-discipline, you are creating a set schedule for yourself that you will stick to in order to meet your goals. This schedule will help to keep you on track and accountable for your actions. It is important to be realistic when creating your schedule, and to include time for rest and relaxation, so that you do not become overwhelmed. 16. Practice makes perfect. The only way to become better at self-discipline is to practice it. The more you do it, the easier it will become. Practicing self-discipline means setting goals and working diligently to achieve them. This might mean developing new habits, such as exercise or journaling, in order to stick to your goals. It could also mean breaking old habits that are holding you back. Either way, discipline is key to achieving your goals. So, there you have it, 16 effective strategies to help you develop self-discipline. If you found this content useful, please like share and subscribe to this channel leave a comment below, to let us know what topic you would like us to cover next. We wait to hear from you remember, you are the situation in the equation, outside you, there's no solution.